Good morning, fish heads. Jen Cravassi, Jekyll Bates. It is Friday, the 13th of November, 2020. I am recording this bright and spanking early in the morning. Just got back from the grocery store and I am on my own this entire weekend. I'm excited about that. Let's see. I've got a couple of baits in front of me. Obviously, you probably recognize those as the Mike Buca Catchco Baby Bull Shad. So we're going to bring a few of those into the fold as we go through the video just to show you what I've been doing and all the customs that are coming out of here. Um, I've got a couple of shad patterns in front of me. <clears throat> and I really like doing shads. I've been kind of goofing around with a bunch of different patterns. I'll bring this one in here too. These are the three that I've been working on. Um, one of the things as I go through my videos that I like to bring you guys into the loop on or into the fold as it were are my color choices and why I choose those things and where you guys can get the colors that I use. Uh, this is a burnt sienna. It's a wicked detail color. It's readily available through just about anywhere you get. Like if you're buying from Spray Gunner or Amazon, I've got links below for wicked colors. Um, Blick Online, which is a Georgia based company has also got the burnt sienna but one of the cool things about this is that it's got a lot of gray in it and when you put that against a brown or a reddish hued color like this burnt sienna is your your gray almost turns blue and that's a trick of the eye but this is just a couple of different shades of gray one is a Payne's gray which is the dark shade you see on this dorsal fin and then I've got a few other shades of gray through the spots and the details throughout this bait. Um, actually, there is some, that's some expired blue, which is, I'm really digging that color, you guys. I love expired blue. I think it's my new favorite color. Let me show you guys a couple of samples of what it looks like on paper and what it looks like on a bait. And then I'll show you the finished product. So yeah, it's super cool. Um, blends very well into different colors. And it is the Tom Gore's Expired Blue, which is a Createx specialty line of airbrush color. It's all water-based, so you're welcome to use it. Then, I've got this veined shad. <clears throat> and some of the colors are similar. But I'm playing around with veins versus not veins. One of the things that I really like doing, especially if I'm painting for the fall or the winter as the shads start to die off, is I like to do that mesh only because it represents a distressed shad. Where, you know, when they get this time of year, they start to die off. They get chased because all the, all the big game fish like bass and walleye and pike and muskie, they're feeding heavy, feeding real heavy on the shad. Um, so they're going to look more distressed. So I like to put that red veining. This is just an iridescent Createx red, but it really shows through in this paint. And then let's see, we have got some FW ink. Now I am going to be doing a video, a pretty hopefully comprehensive video sometime this weekend on different inks and specialty line paints that you guys can get that are easy to acquire that you don't have to like ship off to Europe for or Japan um, that you can pick up just about anywhere even like Hobby Lobby um, was it Marsh not Marshalls Michaels Arts and Crafts sell it um, Walmart sells some of the stuff occasionally if you get a really good super center um, but this is yeah it's an FW ink and then of course the detail black magenta which is a wicked color as well and then just a hint of gold uh, Mike Buca gave me, um, or sent me, emailed me, a picture of a shad that he just caught recently. And I, I put a little more purple than I normally do um, into it. It's, it's almost like a brownish shad and black, but beautiful. But um, just goofing around with different patterns and different examples. And this is probably my favorite that I've done so far. It's very simple. There's no mesh. There's no, it's basically just a white opaque paint. And a little bit of um, Spectratex gold. And then an interference violet, an opaque shimmer violet, which I think is from Grex. I think I got that from Grex. So we'll, we'll do a, it's been a while since I've done like what kind of paints I use in my shop. So I'm going to try and get that done this weekend and give you some examples and maybe paint up some 
plastic, you know, just crappy little baits because I've got tons of those. And I, that kind of gives me an idea for what I want to do for you guys for Fishmas. I just did, and congratulations to Chase and Double Ds again on your win for the 10K giveaway. But for Fishmas this year, I really think I want to tailor it like I did last year to um, things that are useful if you're a painter or a builder. So things like um, split rings and maybe give away some hooks and maybe some paint and maybe some flat brushes if you guys are fan brushes if you guys are doing mouse patterns and stuff so if you think that's a good idea for this fish miss if that's something that you guys think that you could benefit from then that's what we'll stick to this this uh, holiday season here at Jekyll Bates and uh, maybe I'll do some um, inexpensive blanks for you guys to practice on and have fun with so I, I think that's kind of the mindset that I'm in for for this holiday. I think that would be good. If you guys agree with me, then drop me a comment down below and let me know. But this is a very simple shad pattern with that gold and the purple. And just, oh man, that KBS is just so pretty. And I do two coats of KBS these days on just about everything. And it slows the process down. But let me tell you what, when that when that's hard, it's rock solid and it just takes a a mess of fish to, to beat up the paint scheme on this. Now you get hook rash. That's, you know, any anything that you clear coat with, even the industry baits, the big box stuff that comes out, you're gonna get hook rash after a period of use. But this is just a couple of different stencils incorporated from Brian Best over at Anarchy Model UK. I'm just digging that purple. Is that like not the coolest? And I'm, I'm sure I mixed a few things to get that purple but yeah let's go in depth with painting this weekend i think that's a good spray session tips and tricks to get into also painted up the red breast sunfish which another one of my faves to paint these are all customer orders by the way they're all going out or they were sold immediately after i shot them on my facebook page um, and i don't these are like gold right now because everybody wants them so I don't have a ton of extras. Like I'm buying, oh my gosh, probably 50 to 100 of these. And I don't, I, I don't get discounts from Carl's. But I have to pay for them just like you guys, um, which is why they're usually 28 to $30 shipped. I think they're 30 bucks for customs on my website. But there's just a lot of, of detailing that goes into these things that I'm putting on here for you guys. And they swim like a million dollars because they tested them and tested them and tested them for a couple of years. Um, between Mike Buca and, and his his staff and Ketchko's staff. And they are the real deal. I mean, they're just the mini version of, of the great stuff that Mike's been putting out for years. But these are the customs that are available. Um, some of them I have on the website at www.jackalbates.com. Some I do not. Some are just, uh, now this is with a foil underneath. You guys can see that on that crappie on that breeding crappie and then the same goes with this there's a little bit of foiling underneath on this beautiful gill so yeah there's just there's so much that you guys can do and that's one of the reasons I like to use mesh because if you have a foil I think the the base one on this was an emerald shiner if you have a foiled bait you can do so much and really just accentuate the colors and bring those out and give an extra flash and pop in the water just by using some mesh over top of an existing foil pattern. Similar to what I did on this powder. Now this powder bait has got some uh, Jetson eyes in it. Look at those really cool eyes. But it's on that 2.5 square bill. This blank came from Cedar Run. He's doing the pre-foils and they're not ridiculous expensive. But this, uh, this is going up to Canada. To Hashimoto Concepts and I think he's got some plans for it he might be doing a giveaway if I, it's been a couple of months so again um, the more you guys order the the further behind it sets me but I'm still busting my butt 12 14 hours a day trying to keep caught up and you know a lot of the guys are saying that Bill Barton says that TK says it um, we just get we get jammed up with orders and we do the absolute best they can and we can <coughs> rascal don't start I'm only I'm only doing this video once buddy please don't start he's under me um here let me show you rascal real quick we'll take this out 
he likes to sit right there while I'm doing videos and then he puts his commentary in if he has some stuff to say and he always has some stuff to say so um, yeah so I'm stoked that this is going to Canada and this is that powder square bill pattern very similar to a robin's egg or a pro blue but some tricked out eyes it's got that shimmery silver speckle on top John makes some great eyes I love it love it love it love it so you guys have been asking for the bull gills now they have just dropped on Carl's website they I don't even think they're in stores yet they're set to go out into the stores over the holidays this is the beefier version of the bull shad it's thicker you'll notice that the dorsal fin is missing and it weighs more so this uh, I was telling tackle junkie last night he does his live streams on Thursdays now and it was the first chance I've had to get on any live streams I actually got on a couple of them last night so it was just fun hanging out and talking tackle but tackle junkie uh, TJ 81 um, James LaDuca has been doing that uh, like years and years just as long as fluke master just about and um, he is the biggest tackle nerd I've ever seen in my life and we just got to talking about these baits and um, he's fishing a lot he's an Illinois guy he's fishing these heavy this time of year and he's doing really well with them not this particular pattern this is one of my customs but um, there's there's six patterns that they come out in and they've just dropped on Carl's on shopcarls.com and I know that Carl's doing this massive Black Friday sale so go check those out but this is uh, three quarters of an ounce it's if you want to get into brass tacks it's 0.82 ounces versus this half ounce bull shad you can see this is a much thinner profile they're built to even though they look a little bit different on camera they're built to swim the same so they will drop down it's a slow sink but then they'll come back up in the water column and you, you cannot burn these things out or blow them out when you're burning them back to the boat or from from the shore you're not gonna blow them out real hard um, so you can burn them, you can stop them, you can twitch them, you can run them like a jerk bait, you can run them. They they look like a snake in the water. They have that really great S shape when they're swimming, and a lot of design and R and D went into these things. But yeah, right away you can see that it's missing that dorsal fin, and this is a much fatter bodied. It was designed really, although this firestorm doesn't do that justice to look and you can see the they put that ear flap on there to look like a bluegill um, so yeah it's a little beefier swims a little bit differently but not that much they both come up and they'll make that V notch in the water just like a dying shad does when it's being chased another pattern and they have a basic crappie but I I love to do custom crappie on these baits they're just how can you not do it right uh, because that's the shape that's the profile of this bait so this is that and again massive Black Friday sale going on online shopcarls.com link in the description below I think uh, the bull shad are 40 percent off which that would be an ideal time for you guys to pick up baits and then if you want to send them my way ship them to me and that way I'm only paying or you're only paying me for the paint and not the bait and the paint so if you get those at 40% off at shop Carl's that would be the ticket and then finally the last one I'm doing and again these are all customs going out the door for customers is this gray green peacock just so pretty so so pretty I love doing these and, and it's just it's a phenomenal bait I, it's not that I'm painting these for no reason they swim well and I would prefer to paint stuff that swims really really well this is also going out this is a citrus gill on that dinger pressing of that 65 fun little bait lots of that spectratex metallic blue I love the spectratex metallic line and we'll get into that when I do the paint discussion this weekend as well there's just so much pop in something like this versus a plain ordinary blue that you just you can't go wrong especially if you're running these through dirty water 
This is the Grim Reaper. This is also going out the door. A lot of gold in the cheeks. And you guys ask me usually 10 or 12 times a year how I keep these from getting gummed up. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my drip wire that goes into the tail. And as I've pulled this out of the clear coat bath, I'm just scooping out the mouth. And then I'll bring it through the sides and just gently scrape away that wet clear coat and let it, because this is self-level anyways, at least KBS does. I'm not sure about the other stuff that's out there. I, probably the UV stuff, the Illumilite does. Although I've been hearing some weird stuff about real bad issues with the last few batches of Illumilite. So again, I've never used it. I can't speak well or poorly of it because it's just, that's not my thing. But I do believe in the KBS that I use to this day. And yeah, it's not as fast, but you get a really good, even self-leveling finish on it. And why would you not, right? Why would you not use what works? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is the Mad Clown. Love clown colors on a bait. As long as it doesn't look like Pennywise. This is also a cedar run pressing and really good. I'm going to put this against the microphone that I'm using. I'm not using the camera microphone. I used it for one and I just, I didn't like it at all. So yeah, that sounds phenomenal. Really good. And then last but not least, and I don't have the, uh, the top wire off of this because this is going to go in for its second and third. I caught the most beautiful stocked rainbow this past Saturday or Sunday, I forget which day I went now, um, up on the river, the Spring River, which is just about on the Missouri-Arkansas border in northern, north central, the gateway to the Ozarks. It was, let me show it to you, beautiful, beautiful fish, and I had to recreate it. So you'll notice that there's some gill flare down here, and this is on that 7-inch four-piece the tri-wire from Bullshad. This is actually a trout Bullshad. But put some of that red gill flare in the cracks. Lightened it up a little bit there. Put that uh, the white trim right there. And then he's got these designed and not every custom painter likes these. Um, sometimes people will say that they're a little bit difficult. They're not, they're not anything like the smoother baits to lay paint on. It's a little tricky getting them on at times, but once you, once you do a bunch of them, you get used to the, the form, the mold form. But he's got the scaling down pat on these baits. And they swim really well. I want to say that this is probably like two and a half, three ounces, maybe a little heavier. I haven't weighed this. But I'm sure that's something that Mike could tell you. This is the Real Eye. And you can get that at Lure Parts Online. I want to say that the product number is 2816 for the Real Eyes. I'm almost 100% on that. Um, let me pull out and see. Yep. Okay, so this is the eye that we're using. And at Lure Parts Online. And it really does look, it looks just like a trout eye. And they come in red. And then the uh, the smoky yellowish clear silver eye twenty eight one six is there's your take a screenshot of this if you're using your phone great eyes uh, the quarter inch is the six millimeter and they tell you that they kind of break everything down for you at LPO I've been using them for years and years and years on a lot of different eyes I like to try and switch it up and then of course um, John over at Jetson is another heavy hitter that I use frequently. And I'm starting to use Matt a little bit over at Dead Meat. And they, both, both of the custom guys in the States are just amazing. They've got some really insane patterns. So make sure that you support local business. Look them up. Look up Russ Allen at Insane Stencils. It's Insane Customs. Sorry, I got a little. It's, uh, it must be allergies from the fall from all the leaves dropping. And then I've got that tail pattern, which is, again, Brian Best over at Anarchy, his stencil. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, fish heads of all ages, is all the news that's fit to print. I know we went a little bit long, but it's been a while since I've talked to you guys, and it's Friday morning. It's a beautiful morning here, so I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you get out and fish a little bit. I will be back at some point, either this weekend or maybe Monday. Um, I've got a huge box of bull shaz to start getting through for the shows this winter and uh, the classic and all that stuff, so I'm going to be... Rocking and rolling here in the shop, but I will definitely get you, and I'm really excited to do a paint, like an in-depth paint ink type deal. I showed off a couple of inks the other day that I've just acquired, and I will show them here. These guys, um, and I, again, I'm going to, I haven't tried these out on baits. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to shoot this. Usually inks are a little bit different based paint than acrylic water-based airbrush paint. But the pigments in these are just phenomenal. Um, I have used one of the colors through a fountain pen, which is kind of what they're intended for. With these, any kind of lacquer base or any kind of like a fountain pen type ink, you really have to be careful and you really, you almost want a second airbrush um, that you can just leave fluid cleaning solution in at the end of the night when you're cleaning these because you have to clean your chamber and your cup continuously so it doesn't get um, sticky and clog up. Um, they're not sticky per se, but they will dry and uh, gum up your airbrush. But we're going to use all sorts of things. Birmingham Inks is a small, um, I think there's only like two or three associates. It's all hand done ink the way it has been in old world, you know, like Philadelphia, when you think of the Constitution being written, that type of ink. So super stoked to try that stuff out for you guys. And I've got a few others. I've got the, um, oh, what's the other ones? that I, I think I picked up some Windsor Newtons and then the inks that I regularly use that everybody has kind of caught on like wildfire, which is the um, Dr. Phil Martins and the F.W. Dale Rowney inks. I will talk to you guys. I'm just excited about inks. I could just have a conversation with you guys about inks all day. Have a fantastic weekend. I hope you fish. Cheers. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates, and I'll see you on the next video.